All right, so for this make it real, we're going to make a um, grappling hook repelling device. So this is because Batman versus Superman is coming out next month, and we like to make a themed gadget. So I took my inspiration for this from a pallet claw. They're used for pulling pallets, fully loaded pallets, off of a truck, and basically, um, it's basically a simple little four bar linkage that when you pull tight, it actually tightens at the other end. So as you can see, if I attach it onto that, it pulls tight like so. Now the cool thing is if you put a spring here, that means it always wants to stay open, but when you pull on the force, it closes it. So to use this as a repelling device, that means you can hook into something, repel down, and as soon as you touch the ground and reduce that weight holding the tension, it'll fall and then you'll be able to catch it. So, this is just a prototype that we made using uh, black acrylic, um, but we're gonna actually make one out of aluminum and have it powder coated, and it's gonna be pretty awesome, but let's see how well this one works. So the neat thing with the design is, once we add that spring, it's going to wanna hold it open, but if you put it around something and you pull it really tight, it actually automatically closes, and look, now you can go you can repel down, and once you're done, give it a little, so the spring will help with this. And then it falls off. So if there was a spring to actually open that, and then the spring's pulling here, it would just release just like that. So let's see if it can hold my weight. All right, so uh, the bar we're using right now, that's a two inch handrail. Uh, it's a bit bigger than this should be grappling onto, so it's not actually that strong the way it is, but on a much smaller, can you release for a sec? On a smaller bar, it would have more overlap, which would cause it to be much stronger, but this will be a good test to see how strong it can be in this position. And we got heat, and there we go, it already broke, that's disheartening. <laughs> So as you can see, it snapped one of these guys, and that was probably because the force was uneven, uh, and just on that one. So, swap it out. So we've replaced the broken, broken link, and now we're going to test it off of this chain with a little piece of uh, webbing there. So, go ahead, Ian. There we go. Are you hanging off of it? Yeah. Not bad. All right, now uh, what would happen if you gave it a bit of a, a tug while you're hanging on it? Fall on my head. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Not bad. Chain is wow. Not bad. Not bad for a prototype. So we will be making it out of aluminum for the actual one when we're repelling off a 50 foot building, but um, for a quick uh, one evening build, this worked pretty good. What do you think, Ian? You're really going to try and break it now, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, so you can still break it, but again, we're going to be using aluminum, so it's not such a big deal. It's on top of the crash mat, Ian. Yeah. So we've gone and redesigned this to make it a bit stronger. We've added the bosses around here because that was the breaking point of the old design, as you can see. And we've also added a spring there. So now, basically, if you're pulling, it'll tighten. But as soon as you release tension, it springs back open. So that's a pretty awesome feature. Basically, you can get down the, get down the building, and then as soon as you let go of the rope, the whole thing's going to fall down with you. As opposed to uh, when you use a normal grappling hook or something, you attach it up there, and then you got to leave your rope behind. Incriminating evidence. But with this, you don't have that. Anyway, how's that for a two-hour prototype? 
full video coming soon.